back to Doc's booth. Today we're gonna bolt on some horsepower. We're gonna replace the throttle body with a Whipple 68 millimeter twin bore. And we're also gonna put on a JLT 123 millimeter cold air intake. We're gonna throw a lot of air at it. We're gonna get a lot of air into that supercharger and we're gonna really increase the rear wheel horsepower. And I'm pretty excited about getting started with this job. The intake parts here. Everything you need for a bolt-on installation. We have the filter chamber. We have the flexible connector, the one that connects the tube to the throttle body. We also have the bag of clamps and the MAF sensor gasket that goes on there, as well as a JLT decal. Can't have it. It's not a complete kit without the decal. And of course, we have a filter. Look at that. It's carbon of the More fiber. Carbon fiber. 123 millimeters. Huge, huge. We just got the tune just in time for today's work. So we're going to go ahead and put the throttle body on here. And here's that Whipple throttle body. Nice polished anodized black. And it'll look great under the hood of that black beauty docks boost so the first thing we got to do to get started is to actually take this old air intake off and a 5 16 nut driver a pair of pliers and a little small flat bladed screwdriver or a little hook to disconnect some of the wiring connectors is all the tools you'll need for this job get that out of the way and you can then get to the throttle body bottom wire Ground, 0.72, and that's what we're after. Checking the voltage on the old throttle body is essential. You need to log the, the voltage for the throttle positioning sensor and then match it with the new one. However, since I'm using a Whipple throttle body, those are preset at the factory, and I don't need to worry about the voltage setting, but I thought I'd show it to you anyway. So all I need to do is take this throttle body off. Two wire connections, one on each side, eight millimeter ratchet with a socket to get the bolts out, eight millimeter nut driver to finish off the job, six connections gone, throttle body lands in your lap. So we have the throttle positioning actuator assembly and the throttle position switch on the throttle body. We have to take both of those parts off and put them on the new throttle body before we can install it. And when you're taking the cover off, this is And when you're taking this cover off, taking all the, the uh, torques out of there, this is spring loaded in here. So you want to be careful. There's nothing you can do to prevent it from unwinding. You just have to let it unwind. But what you don't want to do is let it like blow out of there. So take it off slowly. You see that spring in there? You gotta unwind, let it unwind. All right, be careful of that. Okay. So then, after you get that off, in order to facilitate putting that back together correctly, you just need to knock the cap off. Simple as that. All right. So now uh, we're gonna put it back, put this cover on this one, and measure the voltage, make that adjustment. So you just take the spring, this tang goes in that hole right there, hooks that in there, and just sits on there easily. Now, when you're gonna make the adjustment, you see there's, there's a small hole and a large hole. Matches the small and the large tang. You can see that from the side profile, it sticks up the small one and the large one. They're gonna pop into those two holes. 
once you rotate it counterclockwise. I'll show you how that's done. Take that, set it in the hole. Take this and just drop it on so the bolt holds all aligned like that. And that's what it'll look like when you're in there. And this tool is going to help you grab it, this spanner tool, push down and rotate it counterclockwise and then let it back slowly and it'll pop right in place. I mean, it's almost unbelievable how easy that works. So we'll put these screws back in place. Okay, and then this tool, grab it like that. You can see that it is spring-loaded. Push it down and rotate it counterclockwise and then let the spring push it up and it should stop and lock so we've got the small tab sitting in the small hole and the large tab sitting in the large hole throttle body should act like that when you get it in there okay and flat against the services and from here you're just going to put that little cover back on the plate and you're going to install the uh, switch on the other side of the throttle body and then install that throttle body onto the vehicle It's always best to use that, that bottom screw first because otherwise you'll fight this tube trying to get in there with the screw. So I learned that if you put that screw in first, you'll be okay. So once you finish uh, tightening up all the bolts for the throttle body, then it's a matter of putting the flexible rubber connector on the throttle body slide the couple of clamps on there put the MAF air sensor in the in the airflow tube and then install that into the throttle body connector then put the heat shield and filter housing in there and of course then the filter goes in and you're pretty much installed it's a done deal after that We have to drop the tune in there. Uh, we got the tune from Lund Racing for this operation. Uh, we will, and then we'll go out and, and give it a road test. And you know what I do for road testing? <laughs> We're gonna go do a burnout. You can count on it. So let's finish this thing up and get out onto the streets, right? <laughs> right, that's the best part. It certainly looked like there was a lot more horsepower being delivered, that's for sure. A lot of smoke. There always is, right? Hey, and it's about time to close this video out. And I hope it's going to help you get over, the, get over the hump or get off the fence or whether or not you want to take the challenge of putting a new throttle body on your vehicle. It's an easy task. Just make sure you measure the voltage on the old one before you take it off. That's the real issue right there. That's critical. Other than that, it's all downhill. Just follow the instructions. So thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.